Señor presidente. Mr. President, your excellencies, heads of state, heads of delegations, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the people and the government of the Republic of Panama, I have come here to confirm our strong commitment to the new 2030 Agenda for Human Development, an agenda we have now adopted. Through it, we will align our national priorities and work together with global priorities so as to ensure social peace, well-being and prosperity for current and future generations. Above and beyond any differences that may emerge between countries, governments must seek the same criteria and work together to deal with the problems facing us both within our borders and beyond our borders. That indeed was the very spirit of the Seventh Summit of the Americas, held in April this year in Panama. Our slogan was Prosperity with Equity, and the 35 countries of the continent sent a clear message, we stand ready to work together for a better region and a better world. A strong global alliance among countries, bringing together governments, civil society and citizens. This is the only way to transform the lives of millions of people that are still living almost excluded from society. We believe in this vision and in Panama we have taken the Sustainable Development Goals as the official guidelines for our government and we are providing the necessary resources. Our government plan is in accordance with the 2030 Agenda and it is backed up by a strategy on public investment which will enable us to move firmly towards attaining the 17 goals. In order to eliminate poverty, uh, we have broadened coverage uh, for social protection, which at the present time is enjoyed by 20% of our people. And then access to drinking water, basic sanitation, these are priorities. And so our administration has already allocated about 30% of our total public investment for the years 2015 to 19 to attaining this particular goal. In drawing up the goals, we were thinking about future generations. For them, education is the key. We are allocating the resources needed uh, for full secondary school coverage in our country. So this will benefit young people and in particular, it will help young people at risk and those that have dropped out to return to the educational system and thus to the job market. Our economy is still growing at around 6% and we are now getting more better paying jobs and we are very close to becoming the first country in the region where we have absolutely no child labour. Efficient use of resources is key to achieving the SDGs and so we've just held a national dialogue on coordinating the public health system. This will make it more effective and it will also improve health services delivery. New technologies, databases must be used constructively they can be used to measure progress towards attaining the goals. In Panama, we decided to use IT in a national census on preventive health to determine the state of health of our people. We also want to replace the uh, shanty towns in our country. We want to make sure that all of our people have a decent home. This is something we hope to achieve by 2020 
in a project we are developing with the private sector. It is called Roofs of Hope. We need to give the environmental departments enough human and economic resources for them to provide protection for the environment. Our goal is to restore 50% of deforested areas over the next 20 years and also to provide protection for our oceans and seas. Next year, the Panama Canal widening will be completed. This will provide us with more resources to help us attain our goals. It will also help world trade. The Sustainable Development Goals offer us a 2030 development agenda from the perspective of solidarity among human beings. It is now up to us to respond to the legitimate hope for a world with opportunities for all and with sustainable development. Panama will do its part. We will participate actively in this noble undertaking, which is the main challenge facing humanity. It is only through achieving sustainable development that we will achieve peace. I believe that all governments, as temporary administrators of the goods and resources of our peoples, I believe that we have a huge responsibility to make sure that politics is understood as serving others and that public funds be used honestly, transparently and fairly to improve the quality of life of our people. In conclusion, may I just once again confirm my commitment to move my country forward over the next five years of my term so that we can achieve the 17 goals. And may I appeal to all heads of state and others to administer public funds honestly and transparently so that after 15 years we will be able to stop and look back and feel that all together we did our utmost to ensure that our countries would attain the Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you very much. I thank the President of the Republic of Panama for his statement. The Assembly will now